back again now with vlog number four and uh, things are really getting good. So here's to update you again with the latest and this week I went to a gig in Glasgow. It was the Goats Don't Shave and it was amazing. Like genuinely one of the best gigs I've ever been to for the music, the atmosphere. I genuinely had a smile on my face for days after. It was so so much fun, one of the best nights I've had in ages. It was arranged very kindly of the band to have me up on stage. It was so, so much fun and uh, I've got a clip of that for you now. <laughs> Hello Glasgow! How are we all doing tonight? Yay! Well, like here. Thank you so, so much, first of all, to all the guys for having me on stage. Are you having a good night? Yay! So um, after I got to introduce myself and speak to the crowd, which was amazing, and let me just point out the crowd was amazing and thanks to them for having me as well thank you for uh, thank you for entertaining me for the short time I was on stage and um, thank you to everybody that came and spoke to me after it it was great because there was a lot of people that came and spoke to me and said that they always go to the festival or you know on the flip side of that there were people who had never heard of the festival and what was it and I kind of got to tell them a bit about you know what the festival is what it represents and, and my part in it as well which was great because one of the best things that all the Marys can collectively do is promote the festival and um, show everybody just how amazing it is and how much fun it is um, and get more people coming into it. So that was really, really good fun. And uh, yeah, so after I had uh, said my piece on the stage, uh, the band decided to sing to me their song, Mary Mary, which goes a little something like this. What can we do for Joanne? We sing her Mary Mary. <laughs> You hold me to the low. You hold me to the festival. This is the true story. What else you can't get out of this? As you can probably tell, I was loving life up in that stage. <laughs> had to get <laughs> pulled away eventually, um, but no, it was great. And uh, again, thank you so, so much to the bands for having me up. I so appreciate it. It was an honour to share a stage with all of you, and it just absolutely brilliant fun. One of the one of the best things I've done so far in this competition, and I think one of the best things I will ever have done come the end of the competition. I got to talk to loads of lovely people at the gig. Um, like I said, people who knew about um, the Mary from the Little Festival and others that didn't know about it. And uh, one man that I spoke to, James, um, he came over and spoke to me and said he loves the festival and he takes his daughters every year and he asked me to do him a special favour. So he asked me to keep a note that he'd written, which I have here. I still have it and um, I will keep it safe. James said to me um, he thinks it will make him look like a really cool dad to his two daughters that he knows one of the Marys. So um, his daughters are Lucy and Abby. And this is his note. I don't know if you can see it very well. But yeah, so I still have his note and I'm going to keep that. And he asked me to keep that and pass it on when I see them at the festival. So James, if you're watching this, um, I will keep it safe. But if you see me, come and find me so I can give um, the girls the note. 
and I also met another lovely man called uh, Stephen, who hi Stephen, who sent me a message on Facebook afterwards, um, saying it was nice to meet me, and uh, I just like to say it was equally nice to meet you. Here's a picture of us together at the gig. It was great talking to everybody. It was a fantastic atmosphere. The band were incredible. They brought the house down. Basically, everybody was just having the best night. It was an amazing atmosphere. Absolutely loved it. Um, so massive, massive thank you again to the band for having me on stage. It was an honour to be up there with you. Thank you so much to all the lovely guests who entertained me, uh, who let me, you know, interrupt the show for for five minutes whilst I uh, took the mic. Um, anybody will know it's a risk to give me a mic because uh, generally. When I start talking, I don't really stop. So, um, massive risk was taken there, but it all ended well. So, thank you massively, massively to the Goats Don't Shave. Thank you uh, to Stephen, to James, the other people that are coming to speak to me, to everybody else who came and spoke to me. Um, if I did see you, if you have any pictures of us together, please post them below here. Last but not least in this vlog, I would uh, like to take a moment as well to say the hugest hugest thank you to Pauline, to Donegal Airport and to Aer Lingus Regional who have sponsored my flights for the competition. When I was first crowned at the St Patrick's Festival I spoke to Pauline who, um, who had said at the time that Donegal Airport would like to sponsor my flights which was just incredible and we've just spoken this week and, and it's been confirmed so I will be booking my flights. <laughs> I will be booking my flights very very soon to get me to the note so thank you so so much it's such an amazing gesture believe me i am so incredibly grateful i can't wait to go over okay, so yeah this vlog has basically been thank yous all around thank you to pauline Air Lingus Regional and Donegal Airport who have sponsored my flights. Thank you to the Goats Don't Shave for having me up on stage. Thank you to the lovely crowds uh, for having me and let me interrupt the show briefly. And thank you once again to all of you for watching, to everybody who's been sharing, liking, commenting. Um, please continue to do so. Please support Glasgow Mary. Because I'm from Paisley, um, not a lot of people know uh, my family history and where everyone's from but um, there's a lot of fun facts about the family that I'm sure many of you will appreciate so my next vlog is going to be just about that and I'm going to have all the photos and I can explain a bit more about the family tree. If anybody has any questions they want me to answer in the next vlog post them in the comments below and, um, and I'll pick them up in there but for now uh, thank you a million times over to everyone again and thank you to everybody supporting me and please keep up. So thanks guys, see you soon. She packing came Daniel with the ladies on the street. The marching bands, hot top towns, ghosts and ghosts don't shoot. Everybody may be a session and only five. The cars with the old number plates, and the footsteps.